Hey guys, welcome back to Dez and Fox Play. Uh, I'm Fox. I'm Dez. And we're playing the old Doki Doki Literature Club still. Yeah. And it's getting weird and weirder and weirder. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. okay, before we get into it again, what is your official theory on what's happening? You know more about this than I do. By that, I mean you've seen, like, an overview. So you don't know details, I think. I don't know details. Right. But I know what's happening. Oh, okay. okay I know then, then I'll give you my theory. I I pretend really well. <clears throat> yeah, to be clearly. Like, oh, gasp! <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. Uh, my theory is that uh, I had we had uh, Robo Sensei show us on the Steam website on the Steam page, their store page, that like all the description for it is told from the perspective of Monica. Right. So that leads me to believe that Mon and obviously things that happened in the game so far. Yes. Like pausing the reality and skipping forward and stuff like that uh she can clearly break she clearly wall. is some sort of god or like digital wizard of some kind uh she's an maybe she's, a, she's an installation wizard a <laughs> you guys need like windows xp or something <laughs> you're never coming on our quests again <laughs> uh yeah so she's got control and i think her ultimate goal is for us to want to go out with her. With her? Yeah, and not the others. Right. Okay, well, let's play the game. Yeah, I'm I'm purposely not saying Oh, anything, sure, sure. So. This, this, uh, this is okay, there we go. Oh, right, we were just going to go uh, do poetry with, Nat with uh, Yuri. We had done poetry with Natsuki and Monica. Right, but, okay. Yeah, so whatever. We're done sharing, so you can leave now. I'm finally like healed up in my voice, so I can <laughs> and do this a. Will ruin it I can again. do a real Natsuki voice. <laughs> yes, it's been a pseudo Natsuki for a sure, while. Sure, yeah. It, All right, go ahead. Not the real Natsuki. Right, Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. What? Oh, my poem. Yes. What? Yeah. No. I, no, I thought her. I thought oh. she meant her breath. Oh, like she smiles and takes a deep breath. And I was then like she's a big like, old fart. I just like holding hold. it in. <laughs> <laughs> I like just hold it. Wait, wait. That, that that good mature joke over there. <laughs> her skirts like fluttering behind her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, I mean, the the poem turned out good. It's um. Well, there are some things you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Oh, take it easy. <laughs> that, that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's, here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Is this a poem or an essay? <laughs> What's up, essay? It's hurting my... Okay, it's called Wheel. A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt bolt head linear gearbox falling sky seven holy stakes a dock ship a portal to another world a thin rope tied to a thick rope a torn harness parabolic gearbox expanding universe time controlled by slipping cog wheels existence of god swimming with open water in all directions drowning a prayer written in blood a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, F 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes, tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions breathing gearbox breathing bolt head breathing ship breathing portal breathing snakes breathing god breathing blood breathing holy stakes breathing human eyes breathing time breathing prayer breathing sky breathing wheel can what? We, can we turn off this game? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> She's 
a crazy person. Oh, yes. Clearly yes. has some sort well, of... Well, look. I mean, this, obviously... This paper actually has, like, stains on it. Oh, yeah. You can see over here. Yeah. This is, um... Yeah, this is weird. Yeah. I don't like it. It's She's bad. a weird person. I wouldn't even consider this poetry. It's I just, mean, it is poetry. I mean, yeah, I guess poetry is a pretty loose definition. It just has no but... purpose. There's, there's <laughs> or maybe no there is. form, function. It doesn't mean I'll, I'll, Okay, I'll, I'll restate. I just think it's stupid. Yes, I agree <laughs> wholeheartedly. <laughs> I hope I can tell her that. It's a bad poem. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter what's it, what it's about. So that's where I disagree on all poetry. There, yeah, I agree. There should be You gotta again, have some purpose. meaning behind something. Yes. Even if it's difficult I to agree. decipher. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out in your pen. Your what? pen? My pen? Uh, that that is a a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I, I took it home for safekeeping, and I um, I just really like the way that it rats, so I wrote this poem with it. Oh. And now you're touching it. Okay, Yuri. <laughs> you're a weird. I'm okay. Weirdo. No, you're not. What you did really I just... aren't. Can we pretend this conversation yes, never I'm happened? leaving now. What conversation? I'm leaving this it's club. It's leaving time. Why doesn't he why doesn't he quit the literature club? You can keep the poem though. No, I'll keep it in the trash can. <laughs> that Whoa. We unlocked a special poem when we like to read it. Yes. Nope. Yes. Exit game. Yes. Yes, we would. Don't yes. you dare say no. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left a memento of the occasion bef below. So this would be Monica. She's the, supposed to be the responsible one. She knows how Yuri, Yuri feels, now. feels now. That would be my guess. Right. Yeah. I guess. I, again, this is another thing that. Are you could... totally pretending right now? No, I'm not. Okay. Actually, this is. I. I don't know what this is. This is. Okay. Well. Uh, it's red and everything's kind of wiggling around a little bit. Yeah. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? <laughs> Look, the edge of the screen is bleeding a little bit. <laughs> On the Am left I a hand Terminator side. now? Is that what this is? <laughs> She's going to have, like, a target on her face soon. <laughs> we have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern oh. of mine. Well, see you later. Do you just pass out? <laughs> I hope so. It looked like you were... Maybe you wrote that poem? And now you've passed out? Maybe? I really have no idea. Click? Oh! Uh, we're back! Okay. Uh, that was strange. Did you pass out for a second? Did I don't know. None of them seem to uh, See, be saying anything. This is something... I, the, the game does a really good job, because I actually had to just, in my brain, specifically say, did Slingbo pass out for a second? Ah, uh, like, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my... Yeah. Mm. So, anyway. Mm. I don't really do well with last-minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Slingbo joined, and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival's our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. <laughs> more members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. That's Suki. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Do you want, don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place. The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, Slingbo? Uh, uh, oh, come on! I don't get to say anything. 
You can't get invented a Sumo to agree with you just because you know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? You were never even talked until Slingbo joined. As for me, I just like it better than I do at home. And Slingbo wasn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you really should consider our options for once. Our opinions. Our opinions yeah, for once. there you go. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Slingbo want to get more members too. Right? <laughs> I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. <laughs> if, it, if I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, it's up to me to rescue this situation. Because there's no Sayori. There's no Sayori. Wait, okay, real quick. Did we just not... At the beginning of this second playthrough, basically, it was that she doesn't exist, or that there was just some girl that we didn't know? First, there was just... No, first it was, like... It started off, like, normal, but every time it said her name, it was garbled oh, text. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, it, when it was... When she's supposed to show up, it was, like, a glitched-out picture of Yuri. And then it started again. It started right, the third and time, then she just didn't just exist. exist. Yeah. Okay. Like there was some sort of mistake in the first, and she had to. Yeah. And oh, oh. we were. Br this is something that I, that occurred to me the other day. We were browsing through the files and uh, in the character files and whatnot, and we came to a character file, and uh, like a, a file called characters, and I don't think Sayori was in there. I don't remember. I think it was just Natsuki, uh, Monica, and Yuri. Hmm. Well. Anyway. Okay. No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? It's a club. Sad music. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here sort the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're, we're against getting new members or anything. Slingbo, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about. <laughs> a girlfriend? Is in fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Uh, me? Fighting. Yes, clearly you. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I just spoke my mind. And then caused this. Like a jerk. <laughs> Is it a crime to be honest? No, but you can be a jerk. <laughs> it's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. Mm. You don't understand at all. I just... You know what a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends? Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Slingbo. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. I mean, she did start it and is the president. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. Then join another club. Yeah. But this one. I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things are nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Who cares about that yeah. obnoxious brat? Um. That. That's weird. K. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm, if I'm the vice president, it's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she oh, killed herself. Oh, dear lord. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Her eye just exploded a little bit. But just a little bit. Yeah. She's fine. 
I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. Now those those little inner those little things are those hers talking or thoughts or I'm guessing that's I'm Yuri's guessing it's not what she's saying. Interior monologue. Right, right. Yeah. But what about you, Slingbo? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving it an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I, I really agree with you. I mean, you could have said anything and I would have <laughs> agreed with you, but... Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Is she, you see her she's eye. She's bleeding from her she's eye. bleeding from her eye. Yeah. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping you know what is a bad thing? Out of your bleeding, bleeding from, your, from eye, your eyeball. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. It's well, it's going nuts. Yeah. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. All right. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Oh, it's done bleeding now. Hey Yuri. Eh? Um. I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. M Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I'll look forward to it. Shall we go, Slingbo? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but oh. I'm going to chat a little bit with Slingbo before we, we leave. Oh, snap. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Not my I president. Will, I will cut you, ho. Hashtag not my president. <laughs> Yuri looks, oh. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Whew. Things have a bit, a bit, a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Slingbo, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. It's, yeah, it's the getting, screen looks yep. a little different now. It's yep, a little fuzzy. It's, it's getting fuzzier and dimmer in the background, yep. Yep. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Okay. I mean, with how mean Natsuki is and everything. <laughs> and Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Oh, what does that mean? You know what I mean? I don't. I really don't. Because it's weird. Oh, but it's weird because in all the time that you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean... I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk uh, about with you. Things I know only you can understand. Because I've been seeing weird so crap why, like this. Wait, not yet, no. Oh, she was saying no, stop it. Yeah, she didn't want it to transition to the poem. Okay, that alters the uh, the theory a little bit. That maybe she's not in control, but she know she just knows about the fact that it's a game <laughs> all right all right but we're gonna call that an episode oh here. yeah we are yeah and uh we will poem po poetry next time we, yep. oh and remember poetize these these poems actually do impact the little characters all on right the side. they jump up and down yeah at least last time they did yeah so they both look kind of unhappy right now maybe we can make them happy possibly all right well, see you next time guys bye bye